Welcome to our SOLIDWORKS simulation tutorials. In this video or simulation video, you will learn to check the bolt strength. Bolt strength is measured in three ways by evaluating the shear forces as well as axial forces and the bending moment of the bolt. The main chunk of this simulation tutorial that is being done with solid rocks is that you will differentiate or you will examine what is the effect of preloaded conditions. So actually we will do two simulations. First of all we will define the bolts using solid rocks bolt connector tool. Then we will examine the shear as well as axial forces without having any preloaded conditions. Then we will make a preloading conditions on a board and then again we will examine the board strength. Then we will compare what is the effect or difference between a board without preloading conditions and a board with preloading conditions. First of all, make a 3D model using solid box multi-body techniques. So sketch on the right plane and just draw a simple rectangular sketch with mention 30 by 60 millimeter. Assign the dimensions. Exit from sketch now and then make a extrude of the thickness 6 mm. Again select the this sketch one and extrude it again and from the from condition select the offset options. Input the offset distance that is 6 mm and check the uncheck the merge options. That means there will be two solid bodies in a single part. After that make an hole for the bolt. Make a hole of diameter 8 mm. That is 8 mm as we are using the bolt of diameter 8 mm. You can ask any questions in comment sections. Exit from sketch, make an extrude cut and through all option is already selected and feature scope is for all bodies. So now save your model and enter in Sidebox simulation module. Now click on the simulation tab, make a new study and name it Bolt Strength Analysis. Ok. And from here assign the material that is AISI304. The yield strength or tensile strength of that, that material is 517 megapascal and its yield strength is 206 megapascal. Apply close. Then go to connections and right click on the global interactions edit definition. There are three types of the component interactions, the interaction between upper plate as well as the lower plate that are bonded, contact and free. So you make them the contact and leave the other parameter the properties default. Now it's time to add a bolt on this hole that will 
that will join or hold these both ports these both plates again right click on connections select the board in the board it's standard or counter board board with nut select upper edge and lower head so board head is 12 mm as well as board diameter is 8 mm and we do keep the axial load zero at this time that means there is no preloading conditions on the board or there is no preload on a board so the a hexagonal board with nut has been added to your simulation now now it's time to add the fixture right click on the fixed geometry and make the, this part fixed and the last step is to assign a load or force on this face and in the y directions so in order to apply the force in the positive y directions select this options and from here select a reference plane that is the front plane units are si and in the y directions assign a load of 300 newton okay so we have assigned a force of 300 newton on this force in the y directions so it's time to create a generate mesh and the run our simulation study here is a message or warning that preload in at least one board connector is zero do you wish to continue yes we want to wish to continue the simulation without any preload you can see the simulation progress here so our simulation study has been completed now it's time to check the zards as well as board loads first of all if you go to the stress you can see that maximum stress that is one my stress is 148 megapascal that is less than that of the material jeet strength that is 206 megapascal that mean both plates or your design is safe if we check the factor of safety you can see the factor of safety is 1.4 that is greater than 1 and next is to check the displacement so maximum dis displace displacement occur at the this right part of upper plate that is 0.32 mm go to added definition definition of the displacement and change the scale animate you can see how this deformation behavior will propagate if we increase the loads now it's time to check the connector forces that mean board strength so after right click on the connector force we get connected the only one counter board board with a nut so shear force is almost uh, negligible and the axial force that apply in this direction in the y direction is 
1916 newton and the bending moment is 2.85 newton meter so please note the axial strength or force of the this bolt now it's time to add the preload to this bolt connector again go to connectors edit definition and just here apply the pre axial load of the force of 500 newton and run the study again and check the results again now again our simulation has been completed and first of all if you check the factor of safety and uh, that was 1.4 when there was no preload on the board and check now what happened to factor of safety that means factor of safety doesn't change with changing the preloading conditions of the board so similar distress is also same that is 1.47 147 megapascal and the displacement is 0.3 so there are no change in stress displacement or factor of safety by using the bolt preloading conditions and the next step is to check the strength of the bolt list connector force you can see that okay as the shear force was already negligible also is here is also negligible so the axial force has been increased from 1916 to 2019 newton due to the preloading conditions and the bending moments new value is 2.5 newton meter so that is the difference that due to the preloading conditions the bending strength the axial forces increases so that was the major chunk of today's solid works simulations so if you have any queries or any suggestion you can give us or contact us in comments of this video please make and share this video and subscribe our channel thank you for your time take care bye bye